It's autumn, it's heading for Christmas. It's got to be a Zara shop off. Come on, ladies. Oh, straight into a dress I will buy right now. The purple and black one that I love with the short sleeve, but it's long sleeve, so I'm actually gonna buy it now for Chloe and I. Oh my God, fantastic. Will they have the sizing? That's the thing. XL, they've got, oh no, different dress. Oh no, Chloe, no. But I need to find this in my size really desperately. I'll take one with me. But you know, it work, there's nobody, it will not suit this dress. I think, gorgeous. Christmas is coming, let's get some party wear. Lots of these little jackets from Zara. You know, they had the long one I really loved. This one seems to be a cheaper version looking than the one I've seen originally which is a part of this. And this, by the way, I didn't buy in the end. I thought I bought in my basket, so I'm gonna get it now because I think this is such a superb full length coat, jackety, jacoat, that you wear inside, that you feel chicness, that if you feel my bottom's a bit weird, I can cover it. I've shown it to you before, but I'm just gonna show it to you again because I love it. If anyone's asking about my outfit, shrimp sample sale yesterday and, um, ASOS trousers, they still have them in stock. I'm wearing, this is a small I'm putting on, so it's not tight, tight, tight on the arm, but it would just go over anything and feel chic and efficient. Great thing that if you're wearing even this, to give you an idea, let me just kind of, let me do that for you. You know, just that with that. Nice? Okay. All right, I'm building up a pile here, aren't I? Building up a pile. Okay, ooh, I didn't see that before. No, little dress. Cute, Lulu. Like, really sweet. Like, Lila might quite like that, do you think? Or is she maybe too old for, I just, it's very much a Phoebe dress, actually, but that's really sweet. Even as a top. This dress, I adore. I've actually, I ordered it. Um, and it came up, I ordered the small, and it was quite tight on the sleeve, so I need to get a medium. But the color is Lulu's and my favorite color, isn't it? Your cornflower blue more, but this color we love, don't we? So, great dress. And it's got these ties. So what I did is I, in fact, I think for me, I would cut off this tie and have this tie, because it's a lot of ties, you know? And that was one thing that put me off. Um, I love a grey flannel trouser. I think what I find tricky is when we're looking now, if we've grown up where we experienced the 80s for the first time, to come back to a pleated trouser, which pleats so that if you have hips, you feel it makes your hips even wider. Or if you have a big thigh, it pulls. It's very difficult to feel that it's flattering, but it's cool and that difficulty between wanting to be cool versus wanting to be flattering. I think as we go down the path of life, we should look for flattering rather than cool. Um, so I wouldn't go there. Um, that, sort of fabulous and yet don't know, you know? But something quite interesting about it. When you wear print, you've got to think how big the print is. So, like, do you see that woman's face before you see my face? And if you do, put it back. So I'm going to put that back. I can just see by the expression in Lulu's face, she really saw the woman before she saw me. Oh, this is a skirt I wanted so badly. And I couldn't get it in my size. So I'm going to see if I can get it here. I think this is the most fabulous skirt. I really love it small oh my god I mean this is like my Alice Temperley you know the one in the blue this is a burgundy version of that Alice Temperley just a magnificent skirt I'm gonna see if they got one for Chloe for Friday twinning a sort of that feels 70 inspired as a print but seven prints in the 70s it would have printed on a different fabric this is a very very cheap poly biscuit yeah it's just I, it looks to me too cheap but the print is really 70s cool the cape this season which I love it's done with a very nice wool um, from Italy 
and it's 95 pounds. But what's interesting, because they spent money on the wool, funny enough, sometimes cheaper wool sinks, but do you see, there's a slight fluffing there. So what I always do when I have that fluffing, there are machines, you know, tools you can buy with expensive cashmere jumpers, but I get a razor and I just shave it a bit. But I'm thinking to myself, if on the hanger that's fluffing that much, it's quite a loosely woven wool and I wonder if it would, it would frustrate you, don't know. Nice plain geometric dress, easy, oh dear. I feel I've seen this shape as Zara dress so often. So if you bought this shape, you know it's gonna suit you. But worn with the right accessories, I still think it's a dress with a little bit of merit. Just simple and clean, so I might try that on. And then they got it in a skirt with a split, and I don't do splits. I saw this online, the teddy bear coat. It's exactly the color of Lulu's hair. Um, it's actually very nice. I think I'll try it on for us and just see what it's like on. Because online I saw it and it looked paler. Do you see in the darkness, that's the color, but do you see how those look a different color? Because it's such a deep pile, um, it will pick up different light, but we'll just see what the overall feeling is. For me, it's really not the right color at all. But, and also I find the sleeves really short on this. But as a teddy bear length, if you're a blonde and you're petite, it could be a really nice teddy bear coat, but not, I don't think anyone at all would like the shortness of the wrist. They've done a ton of these, Zara. These kind of, you know, a different fabric on the sleeve. They've done this in about 10 different um, tops this season. I think what they've done a lot this season as well is very cropped tops, which I find difficult. And I think this one, the color's pretty, but I don't know if that fabric has worked. I'm not sure if I think that fabric looks a bit cheaper. Um, oh, I quite love that. That's a leg of mutton sleeve on steroids. I mean, look at that sleeve. That's truly a magnificent sleeve. Definitely going in my basket. Oh my God, I love that sleeve. Oh, okay. It's going to be a very heavy pile. We might have to take it down to my secret changing room and then I could even show you the things on. That suit, oh, look at that suit. You see, you look age 20, Lulu, how old are you? 20, you look at that tweed suit and you think, super cool. I look at that tweed suit and think, my mum with a brooch on, heritage brooch. I just don't know if I can go there again. But the trouser is a very nice shape. I like that trouser. Okay, let's see if we can make this fun and cool. I think I'd probably try on the jacket first and see if I like the jacket. There's Lulu making me go towards tweed. The shape is quite nice. The shape is quite nice. Okay, all right, we're gonna research this further. I'm gonna go for a small, I'm gonna try it. And then probably in the trousers, I'm gonna be something like a large, because that's how crazy it is. Okay, we've only done the first section. <sighs> all right, um, okay. Oh my God, they've done my wide leg trousers in charcoal gray. I haven't worn those culottes forever, but I love charcoal gray flannel. Oh my God, I love that. I really, that's like they've finally done the color I like. I'm gonna try those. Okay, pleather. I've never got my head around pleather and there's Chloe went and got pleather head to toe a few weeks ago and I was like, hmm. I don't know if it's an age thing. I just feel like a pig in a sweat box, sweaty gusset. Just not sure. Um, also the sleeve of that's gonna to be too short for me. I did try on the Trini tribe, we went to Ireland and I tried an H&M. Oh, no, and other stories, a lady tried on a leather pleather dress, which is fabulous. So I think the and other stories one is better than that one. Yeah, okay. Look at that, Lulu. Would you go there? Would we go there, Lulu? We'd go there. We would go there, wouldn't we? I've got a wedding coming up. Is there anything I can get from Zara? 59 pounds, that is a good price for a one shoulder long sleeve dress, but you need to have a body that's very easy to fit into what is like a slip of a dress, but it is cool. This coat, I love that. 
The cut is fantastic. So I'm going to take that to try on. <gasps> Les Smoking. How many of us would find that Les Smoking is a classic? So even if you were an adult in the 1970s and Saint Laurent brought to you for the first time Le Smoking, which was his invention really, apart from Marlene Dietrich in that lovely film in the 30s, it's something that makes a woman feel sexy and confident at the same time and a certain androgynousness, but you can make it very feminine or masculine. So we cannot not try that on. Um, and look at that shirt with it. I mean like, oh my goodness golly gosh, the whole thing really. I love the fact it's got the stud buttons. Look at that. Oh my God, look, it's a little mini. How sexy is that? Oh, love. You know what I love about these trousers? At the back, a little give. Where are the trousers? Where are the trousers, Lulu? Where are the trousers? I've got that, but I don't see the trousers. I'm gonna have to take that with me because they might all have gone. Okay. That too, I mean that as a black top with that lovely really tight sleeve and a um, zipper is magnificent. I think that on Chloe is going to be incredible with the trousers perhaps. On me I might wear a shirt underneath but really, really lovely. The skirt on the other hand is very much a pussy permit for Lulu's age and legs. I mean that is like... I'm sorry, but that's, I've been hit by a bow. I can't, could you do that? I mean, it's, I've hit, I'm, I've been hit by a bow. No, 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 no. Butlins and a gift wrapping all in one. And this too, that pink to me is such a cool pink. Very tricky, you would wear that pink. Yeah, it's a weird pink, it's not quite there. That, beautiful, like a, like a work of art actually and 59 pounds but I can see why you've got to be quite short-waisted but with a pencil skirt so beautiful isn't it fab that's really your your dress your little smoking dress oh my god oh my god only comes in medium. I mean, this we got to try on now, now, now. This is something that you would love and I would love. This is something you would have inherited from your grandmother or pretend you had. I mean, like the best thing in Zara all year. So chic. That is just. Isn't that fantastic? just fantastic. It's just mesmerizingly good. <sighs> I think that is my sister's Christmas present. Right now. Here, right now. Right here, right now. Who was that? Right here, right now. This I liked, but it had an issue at the back. I'll show you. So disappointing. You might have seen this on my stories. I love this skirt, but it gave me a tail at the back. Ooh, is that good enough? You see, I'm drawn by the sleeve, but I'm thinking, is the, is the print, do I want to see leopard not so sheer? I don't know, I have a lovely expensive one from Zimmerman and that's just, I don't, yeah, that's not, not going there. Oh, another bit of shimmer, another bit of shimmer. Oh, it's long. I did see this and I thought, is it long enough for me? You know what I might do is I might slit it up the sides and wear it with a trouser in turquoise. You know me and the scissors, so let's try a small. I keep looking at this because it's, you know, lurex and leopard. And I'm thinking, would I love it as a top? But I think the sleeve length is wrong for me. But there's something kind of fabulous. You see, it's very good, that blazer. Where did you find it, darling? Because I've, I've ordered it online, but I think it's, it looks great on you. It's gonna change your every moment. I would wear it literally with a sort of high-waisted wide leg trouser with a yeah. trainer underneath and a white t-shirt and wear it for lunch. The, shoulders, I the, love shoulder, the shoulder is like a Balmain perfect gorgeousness. It's yeah, it's fab on you. Okay, I'm following her down. Oh my, oh yes, I've got the gold already. I love the gold, but the silver, is where I'm heading. Where is the silver? I'm 
just so obsessed. I've actually, I've ordered this for Chloe and I to do Friday Twinning. I've ordered it online. I'm so scared the package won't arrive. I'm tempted to order a second. This is a small, quite tight sleeve, but a little bit of stretch in it. I mean, you can do up one button like that. Fucking marvelous. I mean, sorry, it's gonna take you from dawn to dusk. So in the daytime, you wear it incredibly casually, and then you can wear it at night too. But I mean, the nicest silver sequin. There are a little pair of shorts with it, which we know who does shorts in the office. We know who does the shortest shorts in the office. What about Lulu with black tights? I've always been interested in a short suit, to be fair. Yeah. But I would say black tight and a, and a naked wolf trainer, not a high heel. I think you do a high heel, chunky, yeah, chunky like that. I think we have to see it. I mean, look at those, look at those babies. Look at that jewel encrustation. Look at that. something see I would kind of consider it Lulu I'm afraid to say we've gone to now into a, a sea of black and white these trousers I did like I like the idea that they're the turn up they're gray they had these in a darker gray which I really like which were flat fronted one side and jogging pant the other and then I'm sort of actually this is where pajamas can walk out the house this is a very good in your pajamas yet not could be nice. I'm gonna try those. A white coat. There's white coats that get dirty quickly and there's white coats that get dirty when you look at them. This is a white coat that will get dirty when you look at it because there's too much, you know, fluffiness to it. And I feel if it was white wool gabardine, I don't know why, but I feel that would get pick up dirt really quickly. But just divine. So if you're somebody who's very clean, so nice white on white in the winter, like, Oh, with the white boot. I mean, with the white boot. Such, such a pretty colour. Sorry, that's such a pretty colour. I can't do it because I have um, long arms. But if you are petite, that's so beautiful. That shirt, if you're the right colouring. I. What is that colour? Vomit? No, sir. This is interesting made for three pounds each i should think 19 pounds but i don't have any sweatpants right now and i they're just that is that terribly inexpensive yet really comfortable zara fabric that's when you think who's making those you know the dress the blue polka dot dress if any of you bought that this is exactly the same shape winter option i don't know if it's going to be as successful as the blue dotty one Quite sweet though. Now, tulle skirts or really see through skirts is such a trend this season. There's a lot of net skirts and you wear sort of a skirt in the same color underneath. So imagine you had a pink satin pencil skirt and then you had that tulle over. That's the sort of look. So this is something else, but just quite interesting. I might see if I can style it up and not look like a dog's dinner. It could be a plain black round neck turtleneck with black trousers and this on top. I don't know. I'm going to try it, ladies. It's too girly for Lulu and I'm trying it and she's way more girly than me. I think we're done. It's time for me to try some things on. Now, my secret trial location with Zara, it's a little change when they keep free sometimes, but it's, there's a lot of friends with me today. You might recognize it from the takeover show. And we've got our friends here too. Look, there's our friends in the background there. So this is your claustrophobic change room. Anyway, I'm going to try some things on very randomly. I'm going to be joined by some elves. Okay, all right, let me try it and show you. This is the tuxedo suit, and I think that the shirt is fantastic. The trousers are medium, and they're really pretty neat. So, so tight for medium, just like this. Um, and I like the length and everything. 
I just think they're too tight. And they'll be in. The back of it is kind of sexy, but I don't think I'll take it off, but it means I won't get too hot. So, 80% what I want it to be. You can always do the velvet jacket and the white top with a pair of brilliant black wide leg, really long with a high shoe. First impressions the tweed suit. Let's look at this beautiful cuffable jacket. I think for me, sequin underneath takes it out of the kind of, um, you know, more countryside feel of it. But I'm in a medium trouser. Look. I mean, these are really, I don't care if I wear an L, but it's just, to me, traditionally, a medium would be a 12. And um, that's just my insane, insane. Sure, the top I really love. It's a bit boobies. Just so you can see the shape. It's such a pretty top. And I would definitely, I'd definitely get this top. But it's very, very see through, so I have to get it off. But it's a lovely shaped top. So, 50 50. Right sizing. Right sizing. I would get this suit actually because it's a lovely tweed. This is not how I would wear it, because if I wore this, I'd probably wear black tights underneath and a high heel. But I quite like the idea of that sort of fur and stone casual pink neck with an A-line evening -y skirt. I might even wear my sequin trousers underneath, you know? I, it's something interesting. I'm, what I'm going to do is take it home and see if I can style it in my wardrobe. I don't know just something there's something floaty and feminine and if you counteract it with something a bit more masculine at the top it could be great so I'm in that sequin dress in a size large but I think over trousers with a with, of me cutting up that hot seam I would wear this I think it's good fun the colors are fun it feels really fresh for a sequin that color combination it's very Elspeth Gibson, which was a designer in the 90s, you might remember, but she made my wedding dress, but it was literally out of this fabric. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try one more thing and then we're done. So if you fell in love with that purple one I got in the summer with the short sleeves, this is literally a long sleeve black and gold version. I'm in a medium because they don't have a small. I would take a small in this because it's A-line. It just shows you their sizing, doesn't it? Um, but I love the length. It's feminine and it's kind of chic. And now I'm just going to put the black thing on top. Yeah, I would do that actually. I would really do that. I think it might So this is that really inexpensive trouser. Um, they're kind of very comfortable. I don't know what size is that, Lulu? medium. I might maybe take a large if I'm feeling here. But you know, running around the house. Ask clasping, I would do the large. Arsy, arsy, arsy. This is more size medium and not even a zip to get my bum into. Once they're on, fine. But hell, can you help us get in there? And this is also medium. Zara. So Zara this week, I would say, has been somewhat successful. I have gone a bit mad, but I think there's inspiration for a bit of party and everything else. Bye, till next time.